Okay, everyone. Today I'm going to show you how you can change your uh, Xiaomi uh, Mi 4C battery and uh, back cover uh, with some basic tools and basically no previous uh, experience in uh, doing this kind of thing. So it should be pretty much straightforward. I got my uh, battery which I ordered on uh, eBay from well from a seller which the brand is German uh, but the battery itself uh, is of course made in China uh, nonetheless it should be uh, a good fit for this phone and uh, unlike the uh, original battery this is a lithium polymer battery and not a lithium ion battery so it should be a good fit for the phone uh, the back cover uh, of the Xiaomi Mi 4C uh, scratched over time it doesn't look really good you can see you can see all the scratches along here and um, this shiny bit right here uh, fell off so uh, yeah I just want to refresh it and change it uh, of course uh, Xiaomi doesn't really produce um, these back covers as uh, OEM parts or at least I couldn't uh, I couldn't find them so what I found was this I actually th thought it was uh, original but it has some few minor um, differences from the original uh, one of them is this right here this is the charging port as you can see this one is uh, right angled it's square um, it's rectangular and this one is I don't know if you can see it this one is oval shaped so other than that it's pretty much the same back cover from what I can tell um, uh, yeah of course and the uh, the me logo you can see on the uh, non-original panel it's slightly bigger than the original one uh, but it looks good it feels good so let's see if it's if it it can actually fit the phone so first things first um, let's power down the phone okay and our first job is to uh, remove this uh, sim tray so we've got the original tool which came with the phone you can use sort of anything to do to do this pops out Okay. Uh, well, let's see. I haven't actually removed it from the moment I purchased the phone. So, yeah, there goes my two SIM cards. Um, okay, so the next bit is removing the back cover. So, how this is done is you sort of pry open by sliding your fingers along this uh, along the edge or something sharp. Uh, in this case, I've, I have my uh, fingernails, <laughs> so they will be help helpful. So kind of pops away. Here we go. Okay. I don't want to break anything, so I'm being careful. It seems to be stuck on this side. It's coming off. There we go. Okay, that was simple enough.
Okay, so let's put this aside. So if it was just changing the back cover, um, it's an easy job. So you just do that, you, you pop the new one on and you're good to go. So changing the battery, that will be that will be a bit more difficult as you can't uh, remove it directly. So you have to see um, this thing where it plugs in. Uh, so you have to unplug it first and to be able to do so, you need to remove this uh, top cover here. So that's what we're going to attempt right now. Um, okay, so the tools we have, actually I had these shipped by um, a Chinese manufacturer uh, when ordering uh, a battery for a previous uh, phone I had. So uh, these actually get shipped with, uh, uh, with batteries you order. I'm just sick because my computer is sleeping. Um, so with most batteries, not with this one, but with most batteries you get on eBay, you'll get the tool set as well, complimentary. Okay. So these are just uh, Phillips screws we have here on the top. Really tiny ones, but Phillips screws. Let's put them aside and be sure not to lose them. Okay. There's a lot of them and you have to remove them all, I think. And of course, doing this will uh, basically void your uh, warranty if you have a uh, valid warranty. I don't know if uh, uh, the Mi 4C, I think it is, it's still sold, so you could have a valid warranty. Uh, but if you don't, or if you don't care about it, uh, you can go ahead and do this. Either way, I mean, the Mi 4C is. Um, it's a model uh, which they built for the Chinese market. So if you don't live in China, uh, warranty, getting warranty uh, service for the phone is really difficult, I suppose. So MIUI fans in Europe and the States, uh, it's a DIY job. <laughs> Okay, and we have one more, which is beneath a me sticker. Um, let me see. It's right here in the edge. This one. So let me see how I can remove this without damaging the LEDs for the camera, which are right beside it. Um, we need a sharp blade for that. Hold on a sec. Here we go. It's pretty thin, so I suppose you could stick the screwdriver right in and yeah, so you don't really need the sharp blade edge.
Oops. Hold on. Okay, that's the last of them out. Um, okay, let's try and pry this out. Of course, be careful not to damage anything. Should come straight out when you have removed the screws. Let's be cautious. Let's actually see. Yes, it comes away with the camera lens. Seems to be um, stuck in place by, by an adhesive, or just a small portion of it is, or maybe, maybe there was something sticky here. Anyway, it comes off pretty easily. Here we go. So put this aside and. Let's see where our battery connector is. So it seems to be this thing. Yep. Okay. So, battery connector, as you can see, it's this thing right here on the phone. Uh, it's this thing right here. So, let's try and unplug, unplug that and see what happens. So, unplugging that should be a straightforward job, just lifting it away. Uh, you can use the edge of this thing. So let's see. You can try it from this end, just like so. Yep, pretty easily comes off. Okay. So now. Uh, I think the next step is trying to remove this battery here. So it will be stuck in place by a double-sided stick tape or something. So it will be a bit hard to pull off. Um, just a final look through the circuit board here to make sure we won't be uh, damaging anything. I would recommend also um, removing these clips here so just in case we will do that okay here we go and this one okay okay so wait for camera zoom okay so we have uh, removed these all three of these here so let's continue with trying to pull the battery off. I had to take a short break guys, but now I'm back. So, okay, next step, uh, we disconnected these here uh, and we see we have this, it says uh, battery removable. So what I think this does is it helps you remove the battery because it um, should be stuck on the opposite end and by pulling on this gently and slowly. Yep. Let's see if we broke anything. We didn't. So, yep, everything is good. Here we go. Battery. So, let's try and fit the new battery, uh, but also try and keep this thing this thing so that it's uh, it's easy to pull up pull away uh, the new battery if we ever need to do so 
and we'll also have this sticky thing to keep it in place. Okay, so this is a sticker, it just pulls off. There we go. Okay, and we can place it on the new battery. Just like so. Okay. It's not too pretty, it doesn't need to be. So let's put it in place. That's what the phone looks like without battery. Uh, this bit on the bottom right here, you don't need to remove that. You remove it. It uh, has nothing to do with the battery. And these two bigger connectors here, uh, we don't really have to disconnect them at all. So, uh, yeah, just the one for the battery, the one in the middle. It seems that this might be a tight fit, so this new battery on the top end should be the same dimensions, but I think on the top end, I don't know if you can see it. Right here, it, it has some tape. Um, let me show you this. It has this tape. You can see. You can see the edge of it here. Control focusing. Okay, never mind. So this right here, you'll have to I don't know, try and try and push it down in place. But otherwise, it should be the same dimension. So let's let's continue with fitting it. What I'm gonna do is first I'll connect. We'll connect these two here. These two. So let's let's connect those. I think you just push them straight in. Let's see. Yep. Easy fit. Don't use excessive force. They should be. Um, they should be sliding in really easily, so if you have to uh, use excessive force, that means they're not in the right place. So, I could have worried about this big one though. Uh huh, yep. Okay. So that's in. Both of them are in. <sighs> Okay, there we go. Let's let's try something different. So since the ribbon cable is here, um, the top end should go in first. So let's pull this off and away from the phone. Okay, and have the top in first, and then we'll push the bottom in. 
top first, push the bottom in. Hmm. Well, that seems to be it. It's moving about a bit. I don't think that the battery is really flat. It has this edge on the top. So it could be moving about a bit. Uh, I just hope the lid closes. So as you can see, you have, you have this edge here. And the original one really doesn't. It's actually it's actually cut off in the. Uh, I don't know if you can see this. Yep. So you can see that it's cut off on this uh, top part. So there is an edge again, but uh, it's it's thinner. The edge uh, in the end is thinner, whereas in this one it's thicker. This is this is sticking out. So I hope that doesn't present a problem for us. We'll see if it closes. So let's connect this, the battery connector, and straight away it you, have, you sort of have to align it because. It seems to be longer and it doesn't really end up where it should exactly. So this one, the original, is shorter. So that's the risk with these kind of things. I mean, if it's not original, you you have to sort of squeeze it and find its find its place and hope hope it fits. So this first try it's not connecting very well. The original one. Hmm. Yep, the original one seems to be sticking out more. So the connector itself is it's really small. This bit right here at the end, it's it's a bit it's a bit different. Kind of when you when you connect it, it it doesn't feel really uh, well connected. Uh, it's really easy to disconnect so so yeah they, they could have done a better job in, in producing this so I think now it's connected but I wouldn't I wouldn't want to rely on this uh, staying in place I don't know let me see if this pushes it in Yeah, I think this will keep in place. Yeah. So yeah, this should keep it in place. It has this um, this bit right here, which keeps it in place. Uh, nonetheless, this this battery's connector is uh, it's worse than the uh, original. So that was expected, but <laughs> hey. Um, okay. So this this part right here uh, it has it has come off. 
export. So we have to we have to push it back in. Okay. So let's stick it back in. That was easy. Okay. So next part is reassembling. What we disassembled. Some clips. Okay, this seems to be M. Okay, screws back in. I'll fast forward this bit so we don't have to wait. Okay, the last one is in. So this is what we have. Um, we fitted it. Uh, I just now hope uh, it closes, the lid closes. Uh, this, this is kind of bulging out. So we have that same thing on the other end. So uh, when, you, when you press on the battery, it doesn't seem to feel that it's, it's really fixed. If you stick it down a bit, but overall, I wish uh, this didn't have this. So let's see if uh, the lid closes. We'll use the new lid, of course, the new back cover. Um, no? Okay. So maybe this uh, buttons end first. So buttons end first. Seems to be tricky to to fit the camera in place, so maybe I don't want to damage the buttons on the side here, so okay, here we go. So uh, basically fit it uh, slightly on the buttons end here and then begin fitting it all the way around and it should fit snugly push it down yeah. okay, camera is in place It's 
looking. Okay, it seems to be fitted. Looks nice. Let's clean it up. This is, of course, my uh, protector. Um, it's cracked. It's a, it's a glass protector. I need to change it. But this is what the phone looks like. So, uh, interesting thing is that I think the, the battery fits. Let's see if it has some play. Uh, no, I think I think it's good. So, critical moment. Let's see if it works. It does. <laughs> okay. Let's wait for it to fully fire up. So this was, uh, despite taking uh, 20 minutes or so, it was kind of an easy job. Um, it's 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 rewarding. It's a, it's a rewarding job because now you have a really good battery. I hope it's good actually, uh, and it lasts longer than what my nearly two-year-old battery was doing. Uh, we have a new panel, and yep, here we go. Okay, this battery seems to be um, charged, well, not fully charged, but uh, somewhat charged, and the phone is working, yeah, notifications and stuff. So that was it, guys. You you could be saving, uh, I don't know, depending on where you live. I live in uh, Bulgaria, so here I would have saved uh, 30 leva, which is something like $20, uh, maybe. So where you live, if you live in the US, it could be more. So it's definitely worth doing. It uh, gives you good experience. So yep, do it.